it's in 2 Timothy 3.1. Realize it, understand this very clearly, that in the last days, difficult times will come. And he's not talking about persecution. The Living Bible makes it very clear. It'll be very difficult to be a Christian. Now there are many ways in which it's difficult to be a Christian because there are a lot of jobs today where it's difficult to be a Christian because you have to tell lies or cheat or you know a lot of salesmen and accountants and all that have to cheat and tell lies in many jobs. Uh, I'm not saying it's impossible. There are people who live upright lives in all those places and sometimes they lose their job because they are upright. But it's going to be very difficult to be a Christian uh, because of those reasons. <clears throat> but that's not what he's talking about. He's not talking about it's difficult, going to be difficult to be a Christian, but there will be much more persecution. There was a lot, I mean, hardly anybody has experienced persecution like Paul. He got 195 stripes on his back, stoned to death, imprisoned so many times and people trying to kill him all the time. So that is not <clears throat> what he's talking about. I don't know if Timothy ever got suffered as much as Paul. But he says it's going to be difficult to be a Christian in the last days because, listen to this, because verse 5, <clears throat> the people around you who claim to be Christians in your church, verse 5, will have a form of godliness, but not the power. <clears throat> The form means the dress, like I spoke earlier about the dress of humility, but not real humility. It's a fake. It's a counterfeit. And there he speaks about a dress of godliness. The, that, and what is a dress of godliness? That means they will they'll speak the right language. They won't be non-Christians. They'll be Christians who say we are evangelical Christians. We are fundamental in our doctrines. We believe in the Trinity, we believe in being born again, we believe in water baptism, we believe in the baptism in the Holy Spirit, we believe in all the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and we are waiting for the Lord's coming and all that. That is the form of godliness. But it will only be a form. You know when Jesus spoke about a wolf in sheep's clothing, the sheep's clothing is the doctrine. Absolutely correct. But inside that doctrine is a wolf. A person whose nature is wanting to bite at others, grab at other sheep, look for the little lambs and exploit them. Well, there are Christians like that. There are pastors like that. There are preachers like that. Any pastor who tries to get money from poor people in his church, he's a wolf. I have no hesitation in saying he's a wolf. But he's got the right doctrine and he's more dangerous when he has the right doctrine and he's interested in you know, if a wolf comes into a, a fold, the only, he's, not, no, he's not coming there to bless the sheep. He's coming there to bite and take what he can from the sheep. Bite off some of their flesh and eat up some of the sheep. And any person, whether he calls himself pastor, preacher, archbishop or whatever it is, if he comes to take advantage of you, to get something from you for himself, maybe bring you under his authority so that you just blindly listen to him and you don't have any direct connection with Christ. He's a wolf. Be careful. The form of godliness is there tremendously in these days. In every denomination, we talk about nominal Christians as those who don't claim to be born again. You see, that that's different from churches like Brethren and Pentecostal and the CFC and etc., where we don't, we stand against the nominal Christianity. But I'll tell you, there's as much of the form of godliness in all these churches, including CFC churches, as there is anywhere else. Because as time goes on, people tend to be taken up with the external, the doctrine, more than the inner life. And the moment you find in your thinking, your inner devotion to Jesus becomes secondary, to the, your external testimony before men, you've already started drifting. That's a very good test.